The arpeggiator on the Advance is great because if you don't have an arpeggiator built into one of your plugins, you can actually have one now. So you can automatically just start mapping arpeggiator patterns to plugins that didn't have them before, or you can use the Advance arpeggiator instead of the plugin arpeggiator as well, because perhaps the Advance arpeggiator might have a couple more patterns or modes that you find more interesting. I've got a little sound loaded up here in Diva. Nice little sort of phased out Juno clav, and I'm going to activate the arpeggiator. I do that by tapping this arpeggiator button right here. Once I've done that, if I hold it down, I'll have my arpeggiating sound. If I've got the time division button turned on, you remember, I can choose 16th notes, 8th notes, and I can adjust the tempo with the tap tempo button as well. I can also adjust the tempo by clicking in the tempo window up here in the VIP software. That's stuff that we've already reviewed, but let's talk about now configuring the arpeggiator to work exactly the way you want it to. I'm going to enable latch for that first, just so I don't have to keep my hand on the keyboard the whole time. To configure the arpeggiator, simply hold the shift button down and get that secondary function going of the arpeggiator button. When you do, you'll see this graphic appear on the screen. And I've got lots of different choices. So I can hit my chord and go through and adjust the time division from here, the note length, how long is it holding, should it go for more than one octave, and should it swing the rhythm at all. So a very flexible arpeggiator gives you a couple of different options of ways to play those notes and hear those notes sounded, but that's not all. You can also flip through and switch to different patterns for the arpeggiator. So I don't need to leave it on arp ascending. I'll latch again, and I can actually get arp up and down. Down up, repeating the end notes. Now I'm not gonna go through each of these because as you'll see in a moment, there are literally well over a hundred. So many different kinds. You can have some nice chord pulses. So many different choices. All sorts of chords, techno, trance, broken grooves. All the way to like sound effecty type stuff, if you go all the way to the top. I mean, there's some sequences. So scales just by hitting one note. But if you go to the very top, there's some really fun sound effect ones. So lots and lots of choices for your arpeggiation patterns, and that's why you might want to use the one in the advance instead of the one inside the actual instrument. Because sometimes the ones in the instruments are pretty restrictive in what they'll do, and there's just so many different patterns and ways you can approach, customize, and configure the arpeggiator inside the advanced keyboard itself.